Afternoon guys, just a quick video to help you with this afternoon's maths. Um, you'll notice now we're multiplying fractions by fractions rather than by whole numbers. Um, some of you might have remembered the little trick we do in arithmetic where we simply multiply across numerator by numerator, denominator by denominator, and then simplify if you need to, uh, like so. Um, I'll show you how this works because some of the diagrams on your work today require you to understand that. So we had two thirds over here and a half here. As you'll see, I've separated my diagram into a half down the middle here and then in thirds across like that. Okay, so now my diagram's actually got six parts in it. So what we do is I need you to shade from the top left corner. Okay, so we're going to have to shade a half of the diagram. So I'm going to shade my half in. Okay, then what you need to do is you need to shade two thirds of the diagram. Again, starting from the top left, you'll notice when I color, if you use two, two different colors at home, it will help you because where they overlap is, uh, is going to be your answer. So you can see that's actually, even though I've got an orange highlight tool, uh, it's where it overlaps is becoming dark green, like so. Because if you think about it, what we did is we half, we got half our diagram, and then we found two of those three parts. So if you look at the what's, what amount that dark gray, green is, there's two of them. And then in the diagram, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six parts, two, six. So when I did that two thirds times a half, two times one is two, three twos are six, okay? So these are a couple of questions from your uh, your work later on. Um, so this first one here is, uh, is has been done exactly as I was doing over there, um, but it's two, a half times one third. Now, if I were to redraw this over here, like so, you'll see that if I had shaded a half, of my diagram like that and then I'd shaded a third this way can you see that that this area here is the bit that where it overlaps and that's why on this diagram it's the only part that's colored in pink so when we do our multiplication just to check one times one is one two times three is six one of the six, one six, okay? So over here, this question was exactly the same as one I was showing you on the other side of the board. So I just didn't write it down. So again, I'm just gonna show you one last time. A half, shade half the diagram. Two thirds, like so. This is the part that's overlapped. I've got one, I've got two out of six, which is the same as a third, okay? So I'm just gonna show you the formal approach to this. So again, <coughs> we can just times across, three twos are six, times across 15. You can simplify that. Um, you can simplify that down. They are both in the three times tables, like so. Next one, six again, seven fours are 28, uh, et cetera. You need to do 27 on the top, 40 on the bottom. And again, if you need to, or if you can, then you would simplify down. I hope that helps. Uh, enjoy your maths.